Blade Smith, welcome to the Forge. Eric, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Well, Jesse, you've tallied up a total of $40,000. And if you win out, you stand a chance at taking home $50,000. But, Eric, if you came out on top, that's your first Gladiator of the Forge win, and you'll get a $5,000 check. And we'll ask if you want to come join us in the final battle of this competition series. You're going to be building this. The Akinases. The Akinases traces its origin back to the first millennium BC, all across the Mediterranean region. This deadly double-edged dagger was used by Roman gladiators in pairs, allowing them to deliver quick slashes and deadly strikes upon opponents inside the walls of the Colosseum. This weapon was so fierce, it was even believed to have been wielded by Mithras, the Persian god of the sun. Now, along with the weapon, we have also chosen the forge welding technique that we want you both to use to build your blades. Now, if you look in the pantry, you'll see we have stacks of 1095 and 15 and 20 high carbon steel bars. We want you to take that steel and turn it into at least a 100 layer twisted Damascus billet from which you will make your blades. So work hard, stay sharp, your time starts now. I always have the tendency to pick too much material at the beginning. So I set four layers off to the side. That leaves me with 20 layers, which means I have to cut and restack five pieces to get 100 layers. So now that my billet is drawn out, come on. I need to get this thing cut into five pieces. Jesse's not a big guy, so I wonder how difficult it's going to be for him to actually twist this hot steel. OK, let's see how well this works. Step on a plate, stand on those. You're helping to anchor it, and you got better leverage. It. Good enough for me. I already have my blade mostly forged to shape, and I get ready for the quench. If this quench fails, it could send me home and end my wind streak. Here we go. There we Jesse go. is now in the oil. That's great. It went perfectly. The blade looks great. There's no cracks. I heard no pings. Things have been going great in this round so far. So now I need to make an anthropomorphic handle. So I grab some mild steel. It'll be a lot lighter in the end rather than brass. OK. My blade looks menacing. It looks terrifyingly sharp. The grind lines are pretty much perfect. And then my handle is just a person. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of great. I'm going to use 22 pieces, draw it out, split it into five pieces, restack it and draw it again. That'll put me at 110 layers. I'm scared that once I start twisting, I'm just going to see layers start pulling apart. If this fails, there's no way I'm going to come back to win this challenge. Oh, yeah. Everything on my steel looks good. It's time to throw it in the oil. Oh, there you go. All right, All right. we've got two yeah. quenched blades. Colors in that blade look pretty good when you put it in the oil. I got a good solid blade here. Some days I even amaze myself. My sword has gotten a lot lighter, and I want to make sure I leave that tang a little on the heavy side and bring that balance back a little closer to the handle. Now it's time to get this handle glued up. He's a little man. <laughs> the rest of the time I have left is devoted to sharpening this blade. I couldn't be happier with the way this blade's turning out. Five, four, three, two, one. Bladesmiths, put down your tools. This round is over. Bladesmiths, welcome to our strength test. Today, we have the Roman throne chop. And since you didn't get a chance to pick the technique or the weapon, you get to choose who goes first. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Eric, you want to go first? Let's do it, bud. All right, Eric, I got to say, good job, man. All right, first of all, there's no deflection, deformation. It came out nice. Did a good job. If we could etch this thing for like another two hours, this thing would be amazing looking. But the one complaint I have is there is a ton of weight on here. Controlling that during chops, it rolled over on me a couple times. Other than that, good job. Thank you. All right, Jesse, you're up. You ready to go? Hey, no. <laughs> well, we're going to do it anyway. I can tell that the purpose of this chair is to destroy blades. 
it's been such a long road, but this this could be the beginning of the end. I may not be here for the next battle. Jesse, nice job. It's nice and light. It did a good job on the throne. The edge is fine. Everything's still tight and true. Good job. Thank you. Gladiators of the Forge. This is it. This is the sharpness test. I'm going to take your weapons and try to cut through these ropes. Eric, you're first. You ready for this? Let's do it, Doug. All right, let's do it. Eric, let's talk about your sword here. You have a sharp edge, but there is a weight to your weapon that makes it hard to hold on to. It did cut most of the ropes, but overall, you will cut. Jesse, your turn. You ready? Sure. All right, let's do it. All right, Jesse, let's talk about your weapon here. First up, your edge. Cut most of the rope except for the last one, but I cut a different angle, so I'll call that on me. But it is sharp. What I love about this is the balance and weight you have on your weapon. Overall, you will cut. Now, guys, both of your blades perform extremely well during our test, which makes for a very difficult decision for our judges. Now they have to decide which one of you is taking home that $5,000 check and the title of Gladiator of the Forge. Jesse, if you win, that's seven total wins and $45,000 in your pocket. Eric, if you came out on top, that's your first Gladiator of the Forge win in a redemption round, and you'll get a $5,000 check. And we'll ask if you want to come join us in the final battle of this competition series. Our judges did make a final decision. Gentlemen, the Gladiator of the Forge today is Jesse, congratulations, you did it again, man. Eric, it's been an honor to watch you work, but unfortunately, your blade did not make the cut by the smallest of margins, and Jay's gonna tell you why. It basically just came down to weight. There was so much weight in that handle, it made it harder to control, and that's the reason we're sending you home. I get it, I get it. At least I made you guys work for it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, that is seven battles and seven victories. You just won another check for $5,000. Well done. You now have $45,000 in your pocket, and you are seven titles in with a chance for one more if you have enough in you to go back in the forge and battle again. What do you say? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. I can see the finish yeah. line. Why not keep going? What just happened? I'm somehow the seven-time gladiator of the forge. Awesome, man. Well, congratulations again. We can't wait to see you battle it out in the final battle. Well done, man. I keep on saying that this battle is closer than my previous battle. I can't imagine a scenario in which it'll be closer for the next battle. I never expected to be fighting for the last five grand to 50 grand, but I'm going to keep my place on the throne. 